Welcome to the Cinema Room's Acoustic Treatment Guidelines. Vicoustic has prepared this presentation to show the acoustic treatment key subjects in home cinemas. We have prepared the following topics for discussion. The path for an immersive audio experience. Home Cinema Acoustic Treatment Guidelines and Solutions for Sustainable Home Cinemas. We could point out four essential key points paramount in the path for an immersive audio experience. First of all, is the audio gear. Of course, depending on the quality of the system one chooses the results will differ. Another point is to properly define the listening positions in small rooms such as home cinemas. It can contribute to a better overall low-end balance, avoiding zones where sound pressure level peaks or even nulls may occur. The third key point would be to properly locate the speaker's positions in regard to the listening positions. And last but not least, however many times forgotten, is acoustic treatment. If the room is not properly treated, it is likely that you will hear more sound energy coming from the room than from the speakers. In this way, the room will likely ruin the film's sound director's intention, and at the end of day, you could start doubting the investment made in the audio system. This presentation will focus on the acoustic treatment for home cinemas. Let's imagine a small home cinema, acoustically untreated. Now, let's focus on what happens in the main listening position for a single loudspeaker. The first sound that will arrive at the listener will be the direct sound from the speaker to the listener's ears. After the direct sound, a bunch of first reflections will start to arrive coming from the side walls, back wall, ceiling, and floor. Lastly, a sound that is not absorbed will continue to bounce within the room giving rise to what we call late reflections. Late reflections will give us the sense of the room's reverberation and can affect speech intelligibility which is paramount in most films. Imagine now how many reflections will occur from the two front speakers or even three front speakers. This image presents a simplification of what happens with the left and right speakers. Please note that we are only considering one side, one front, and one back wall first reflections for each speaker. There will be multiple reflections coming from these surfaces. The same will occur with the late reflections. A way to illustrate the direct sound and all reflections arriving at the listener's position is by using a graph of sound pressure level versus time. We call this type of graph the room's impulse response. Again, the first sound arriving at the listening position is the direct sound. After this, a bunch of first reflections will arrive, and lastly a bunch of late reflections. In terms of acoustic treatment, direct sound, being the sound one wants to hear, should be maximized. Therefore, the path between loudspeakers and the listener's ears should be unobstructed. First reflections and late reflections are energies given by the room. They are not part of the audio signal being reproduced by the loudspeakers. These energies should be optimized according to human perception and room goals. In terms of home cinema rooms, there are some best practice guidelines one can follow in order to optimize these energies. Let's see this now. The goal of a cinema room acoustic design is to provide the audience with a neutral acoustic environment for a clear and complete film audio experience as the filmmaker intended. There are three main areas where acoustic treatment should act on. Reverberation time optimization. First reflection and sound field anomalies control. In terms of reverberation time optimization, there are several guidelines providing RT criteria for cinema rooms. Depending on the room's volume, basic mid-frequency RT values at 500 Hz are recommended to be within 0.2 to 0.6 seconds. There are also recommendations for RT changes with frequency, typically lengthening RT at low frequencies and shortening RT at high frequencies. High RT values may reduce speech intelligibility whenever dialogue is present and, as we know, dialogues are of major importance in most films. The second step is to control early reflections, which can cause psychoacoustic effects such as image broadening and spaciousness. Acoustic defects such as echoes, flutter echoes, and room modes. 
and masking of sound effects that the film's director intended the audience to hear. As a rule of thumb, surfaces near the loudspeakers should be deadened with sound absorption. Specular reflections should be avoided with sound diffusion. In a home cinema, there are basically two main sound field anomalies that should be taken into account. Flutter echoes and room modes. Flutter echoes are repeated sound reflections caused by sound traveling between parallel reflective surfaces such as walls, floors, and ceilings. There are basically two ways to deal with flutter echoes. By using sound absorbers, and in this way taking out energy from the reflections. Or by using sound diffusers, and in this way spreading the reflections throughout the room. Room modes are set up in small spaces due to the relationship between low frequency wavelength and room dimensions. In the frequencies where room modes occur, when the direct sound combines with the reflected sound traveling in the opposite direction, both with the same frequency and amplitude, the resultant wave will be the sum of the two waves. As it is possible to see from the illustration, the resulting wave will be a standing wave. This wave doesn't transport energy since the two waves that generate it are carrying equal energy in opposite directions. The result is that depending on where you sit inside a room, you can be either in a null of the standing wave, where you will not hear anything. In a maximum of the standing wave, where you will hear a boom. Or somewhere between these two points. So, the first step to deal with room modes is to avoid locating the listening position in a sound pressure level that is null or peak. Then, you must provide your room with bass traps, such as the new Mega Bass Trap VMT. It will help limit the energy from the reflected sound. This way the standing wave will not be so pronounced. Bass traps will also help control low-end first reflections and reverberation time, which are paramount for a clear and complete film experience as the filmmaker intended, including being able to enjoy low-end special effects. Now, let's learn about the acoustic treatment solutions recommended for home cinemas. The first one is the VMT Solution, an eco-friendly sound absorber made from VicPet wool. This product is mostly produced from recycled plastic. By using flat panel VMT acoustic absorbing panels, we can achieve the required sound absorption levels in medium and high frequencies with a solution that is both sustainable and safe for human health. The VMT solution includes the use of sound absorbers such as Flat Panel VMT and Cinema Round Premium, which will help RT values on medium and high frequencies and absorb first reflections. The Sound Diffusers Multifuser DC3 and Multifuser Wood MK264 will deal with late specular reflections. And Super Bass Extreme Ultra VMT will deal with room modes and low frequencies. The following alternative is the Ultra Solution, a classic way to treat a room using wood-based products. The acoustic panels made with MDF and melamine present a modular solution for the room because the VicFix system allows changing the panel's position. The Ultra Solution includes the use of Cinema Round Ultra VMT to deal with reverberation time. Cinema Round Ultra Fuser to manage late specular reflections. Victotum Ultra VMT in the corners to act as bass traps in low frequencies, and FlexiWave Ultra to help control the room. The third solution is Vic Cinema VMT Kit, a simple and easy way to address acoustics in a cinema room. This acoustic kit combines VMT and Ultra panels. The result is an all-in-one solution. The Vic Cinema VMT Kit uses two different kits. The first one is the walls and ceiling kit, composed of flat panel VMT and Vic Spacer, combined with Vic Pattern Ultra Triangles panel. This kit is designed to deal with RT, first reflections, and treat acoustics evenly throughout the room. The second option is the Mega Bass Trap Kit, which is a structure developed for corners to deal with room modes, combining VMT and PET. Lastly, for a home theater state-of-the-art solution, the Cinema VMT Piano, Forte, and Fortissimo are among the highest absorption acoustic panels developed. They are designed to allow the creation of unique combinations between them. 
For more information about home cinema's acoustics, please consult the white paper Acoustic Treatment Guidelines for Cinema Rooms.